Morning. Are you procrastinating? Again? Procrastination is really shitty. Not only is it an enormous waste of time, I mean literally and metaphorically, but it makes you feel bad, doesn't it? No one likes procrastinating. When I find myself surfing house porn, rightmove.com is definitely one of my favourite wastes of time. I know I'm moving into that space. When I find myself tackling the C list on my to-do list, I know I have slid into the zone of pointlessness. And you know what the answer is? Well, let's take time out. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but entrepreneurs aren't lazy. They don't not know what needs doing. They don't procrastinate on purpose. Procrastination is born out of two things mostly, and that's overwhelm and self-sabotage. Overwhelm happens when the sheer volume of what needs to be done prevents you from even starting a task because the enormity makes you feel like you're eating an elephant. So dealing with that is a matter of prioritizing and chunking tasks down into bite-sized bits. Self-sabotage often occurs when people are uh, frightened, subconsciously even, of the success of something. It's weird, but really true. The outcome of something succeeding can often be a huge subconscious issue, like am I worth it, can I handle it kind of thing. So the unconscious mind procrastinates in order to protect the person from success. Failing is easier than succeeding. So you need to take time out. And I know it sounds counterintuitive and I'm sure it will create a sense of rising panic when you already think you're under the cost deadline wise. And I'm now suggesting even more time out. But you're not doing what you need to do anyway, right? So stop. Go take a day off. Go listen to your feelings whilst wandering around a nice garden or go for a bike ride or something. But absolutely do not allow yourself to do any work until the following day. So this will do two things. It will allow you time to observe your feelings. Please note I said observe, not act on them. Just listen and acknowledge the overwhelm or panic or fear or lethargy. And that acceptance of those feelings is a really powerful um, medium in moving forward to that state of productivity because there's always a reason for procrastination. If you had to ask yourself what that reason was, what would it be? You know, once you know that answer, you can deal with it, right? But you do need to take time to ask. And then after you've had your day off, um, you've imposed an incredible sense of urgency now because you're another day behind, right? So set yourself and your task a very tight start and finish time. Literally set the timer. Racing against the clock is incredible for task management because that pressurized time constraint will mean that you can absolutely focus on the task in hand and you will get it done. It may not be perfect, but it will be done. And I have to say, perfectionism in most businesses is entirely overrated. Really, it's about completeness and finishing and then implementing. Um, And all of that starts by getting it done in the first place. And here's the biggie, make your tasks public. I'm not talking Facebook here, I'm talking publish your tasks to your team, your peers, your buddies, keep yourself accountable. We may let promises to ourselves slide, but most of us don't like looking like we're not achieving stuff to our peers. So accountability will really help keep you on track. In summary, counter procrastination. Stop trying to work when you can't, take time out to examine the why, and set yourself a tight deadline for completing to put yourself under pressure to complete. And then make yourself externally accountable and watch your to-do lists shrink as you conquer your task list. I hope it helps. See you soon.